All right, all right. I think we are live. Uh, my computer finishes loading our save game. So, hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Satisfactory Update 6. We were on our way to create a one base. And by this I don't mean a mega base, I mean that all our different factories, different places will be connected via uh, the same grid that we will just keep on expanding and expanding. So basically it's, uh, imagine it as if we are buying tiles in order to be able to work with them. That means the more distant a uh, resource is from our current position, the more concrete we need to <laughs> spend in order to expand the grid in that direction. Uh, we're doing this for several reasons. Uh, aesthetic is of course one of them, but personally I really like when things align and you don't need to uh, jump over empty space in a diagonal to fit with your new grid uh, when you create a factory that is way too far away. Uh, it can work together with... Uh... Oh, this is not pretty. It can work together with uh, vehicles when you make them uh, run over normal terrain and then realign to the grid once they reach their new station. But it doesn't work well with trains at all and uh, we kind of don't want to use vehicles at least. That is the initial plan, we will see, maybe we end up using them anyway, who knows. Right now, what we were trying to do, if I remember correctly, is to expand our current production of... Uh, yeah, of uh, foundations, of concrete in this case, and uh, I just realized that I'm also out of plate, iron plate. So, how about we go back, patch our two production lines of iron plates, uh, Take them all, I think. I also see that I have some leftover from our uh, bio farming that I should deposit. How about you? Do I have wood? Yes, I do. I still have the eight parachutes, they prove useless. I have a ton of iron. I should probably get rid of that. You know what? How about we unlock the awesome this resource sync bonus program? Awesome thing. Uh, it's 400 concrete. Okay, it, it will have to wait. It is not this day. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna put this here and we're gonna leave all of this behind and many of these behind because usually we don't need that much. Um, I'm gonna throw this limestone to one of the current locations and the flowers. Flowers we can put back here. Same goes for this. We don't need you right now. Okay. All right. Let's co continue expanding. Now we have a bit more room in our inventory. We will be uh, expanding our inventory as much as we can, of course. But that does not happen just yet. Uh, I'll consider actually elevating all of this already once. You know what? Let's indeed do that. Uh, because it doesn't look pretty over there and we have to elevate anyway might as well do it when it does look pretty so keep me around and of course since we're maintaining the grid this should work out uh, when we reconnect over there Come on. now it's too tall for us Zoop. Leave you. Recreate you. Put you here. Ah, there we go. It all fits once again. So we grab that. Put you there. Put you there. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, as we saw last time, this constructor was going to be oversaturated because we are actually mining more limestone than uh, the one constructor can get rid of, which is exactly what we had in our plan. Uh, this grid is not yet complete. That's why the miner is trying to do crazy things. So let's complete it and put the miner there. 
Now we want to bring all of that production over here. You, you. We're gonna do a tiny check. Oh, first we need a little bit. power. Oh, there. Goes all the way here. This miner will provide us with 30. That gives us just a total of 90, which means we are gonna grab a splitter over here and the merger over here. And then we need the constructor again. Number one. And constructor number two. I hit that by eye. Was that really the perfect saving? Wow. I, I'm starting to see the code. I see the lines without the, the need of a... Oh, but I put this incorrectly. Oh no. Yeah. Ah. All that pride vanished in a poof of smoke. Wait, what are we doing now? Merger? We were putting a splitter instead of a merger. Ah. All the bragging punishment. So let's bring some new power here. One for you, one for you. Then we'll merge. Here. Corner, move two. Perfect. Complete. Complete. And this should be balanced. However, we're gonna fill it up. Ah, uh, this is probably not like the greatest use of filling things up. So, because of the payload being balanced right now, I would not like to mess with its input. Um, because it will always stay constant as long as our factory works. So, right now we have increased our production, which is great on its own, we should take the win as it is and maybe take that slag over there that is more quartz, I don't think we need that right now actually we will grab it for now that we need it for the Caterium legs, uh, powered legs of course we changed the name, but almost no quartz I think okay, so we have I, uh, copper down there, that copper we're probably gonna be turning into something sheets, most likely. Some new product. Yeah, copper sheets are kinda needed. We can expand based on that. Um, we're not ready yet to cross this gas mineral field. Not vesting gas, it's just evil gas, poison gas. But I heard we can have our own gas uh, novelist now, so... Who knows, we may be the ones nuking soon. Not so soon, maybe. Okay. So, more concrete is being created. I can now go to our current constructors and give them the extra stone that we have in hand. No, that's not what I want. We wanted to put a stone. There we go. I'm gonna accelerate the production for a little bit until it normalizes once again. Um, the reason for this is because those mines actually produce 30 uh, limestone per minute when the constructor uses 45, which means it's always undersaturated. Uh, which means there's room to burn extra product. Let's grab this and think. 
what do we want to do next? Um, I'm having the dichotomy problem between the 400 that I need to pay for this upgrade and then just going the distance to collect more resources. I wanted to go grab quartz. Really far that way, right? Maybe that's the journey we need to begin. Go to the corner. Get pretty far. First, the penalty for not having diagonals is being limited this way. Uh, in other times, this will match up perfectly with where we want to go, but it is not this time. Collect this random slug. They have a new cute slug connect collection sound, so I guess that's a nice little reward. And we run out of emplacement. We're basically playing The Floor is Lava, the game, the giant game. I really would like to... Oppa, what is going on there? Why are you not connected? You're just not connected to the grid? Wow. Way to go. <laughs> Way to go, everyone else actually still being able to produce. Uh, maybe we're just saturated over there. Oh, how are we doing on cables? Not great. But not bad either. Let's go check how our distant concrete uh, resource thing is working. I'm thinking maybe we should go out again and uh, try to find some more hard drives. That may be a good idea on its own. Start of, ah, you know what? Maybe, maybe we need to check our uh, power before we go out. That's actually a good idea. So let's grab this. <laughs> the prediction power. It was entirely accurate. Yeah. Uh, as long as you don't have a renewable source of power, you can count on power running out. It is one of the most normal things. So, at least we have plenty of uh, material to divide. So let's put a hundred on the places that are empty, or almost empty. Uh, this one we can put at 79, 100, 100. And that looks very good. Okay, so once again, our maximum is providing more than the possible constructor maximum, which means we'll never be disconnected from the grid. Uh, the bigger question though is, are we producing enough bio material to replenish for next time? I think the answer is no, not really. And I just literally deposited all of this, so I guess before we go out, or maybe while we go out, we will harvest some stuff. Okay, but in that case, I would like to have the object scanned. And we put the object scanner here. What can we scan right now? Okay, that is not a lot of scanning. Okay, that's uh, what are we missing in order to scan this way? Not this. I feel like it will be quartz related, right? To scan for crash sites and radars. So they probably want us to make the crystal oscillator chain. Huh. Uh, complicated thing to do. Okay, 
we will probably try to get all of this done. Uh, let's unlock the silica recipe at least. No, we don't have enough. Hmm. We are limited by the technology of our time. And that's okay. Time to go for another exploration. Where are we gonna go though? Also, do I have some concrete? Yeah, I, I, I have some concrete to go to places. Can I build a biomass burner? Yes. That should probably allow us to complete a nice little journey. So let's start cutting some stuff. Maybe we'll get some stuff in here. Maybe not. Start exploring in this direction. If we're gonna go anyway because of the quartz, and of course, check out what we can do to the environment. I have to say, I do like their new sound volume. Uh, the chainsaw used to be extremely annoying to even hold in your hand. Is that an enemy or a nothing or just a plant? Yeah, I think it's just a plant. Let's go down peacefully. Peacefully. Let's see. There's a slug over there in the tree. We can get there. I think it is both a good and a bad thing that I don't remember where most uh, crash sites are. That means our exploration can <laughs> remain as true and as wild as I don't remember. There we go. Collecting. That works out. Surprise. Uh, is it time for our parachute? Where do we want to go? Just down? Just down is kind of boring. Go this way. Trying to kill some random trees on the way. To make sure we have the bio for when we come back. Maybe we scan for parts again. Do I see these things in the map? I do. That's kind of interesting. I'll try again. Ping the quartz. Do I see something in the distance? That's a gas plant that I cannot kill right now. Yeah, this seems to be a problematic direction to go to. Uh, that is the quartz we're trying to get. Okay, that makes sense. I would like to at least return with one hard drive. I just wonder where to get it from. Let's take a smaller fall if we can. So the cool thing of uh, spending some time outside is, of course, when we come back, there may be a ton of new materials for us to use. And since we are producing iron plates and 
concrete so effectively, that will give us a lot. This water, that is just plain water. Of course, we cannot make use of it right now because we are not able to explore, uh, exploit resource wells. That's, I think, the name of that type of resource. That's just plain copper. That looks like plain copper. Hopefully, we can ask the scanner. Let's ask for sulfur instead. Because that is indeed plain copper. so far also in that direction somewhat relatively close yeah so I, I would say if we can create a diagonal uh, corner like that we may be able to get both without an insane amount of uh, oh look at that that are price I like it that's cool then. And let's make a run. A player is in the way, that's a lie. We are of course gonna remove all of this uh, once we go back. That they are needed for us to climb here. I think that the single ramp looks very awkward when planted like this. I do like the double ramp a lot more, so it's one of the first unlocks I get usually. Walkable now, yes. Okay, is there any danger up here? Not that we see yet. Okay, some wires, many reinforced plates, that's extremely good for us. And the drop pod needs. Two motors. I have some motors all the way back in the base. That's not annoying at all. Okay, so it needs electricity and it needs motors. We can solve both of those things uh, by, of course, going back to the base. But on the way back here, we'll be actually constructing our bridge of concrete. So we can now eliminate this, go back home with a little bit of sadness. And we are getting closer and closer to creating our power bag. Sometimes distances. Ah, uh, without the legs, <laughs> moving around is pretty hard. We also don't even have any form of a car yet. Uh, all the hyper tubes get hard to move around. Let's go step by step. First, we replenish the tanks of uh, biofuel creation. Then we grab all of the new concrete that should have been created in this time. What are you, bauxite? Yes. We'll ignore you. Uh, there will be a point, of course, that we'll spend so much time either creating a factory or um, exploring the outside that we'll fully replenish our deposits, uh, not deposits, uh, storages 
for concrete and for uh, iron plates which should allow us to build any size of factory. Okay, I'm gonna take only a bit. Let's put all of the leaves and all of the wood. Let's use that. Okay. I'm starting to think maybe I should be bringing all of these resources uh, to a central position, a mall of sorts, even though it's kinda early to speak of that. Because uh, going around so far in the distance is not that fun. Rather than fun, it's uh, time consuming. But hey, it is the start, it is what it is. So at this point, we could be paying for the resource sink bonus program. I think I would rather try to get to the ports, at least for now. So I'm gonna do that. Okay. So you should not exist. Let's actually connect this. Yeah. Well, Close this place. That is nice. Let's continue on our way. We can plop down a hundred more of these plates. Got this. Make it disappear. Ah, uh, you know what? I should be bringing electricity already. Let's be smart about this. I'm gonna liberate this one here, connect it from there, nail you at the corner, and off we go. This obstacle. Oh, come on, don't make me drop. Well, it's just me. But I believe, yeah, we have cleared what we wanted to clear. That built incorrectly? Yes, it is. What are we gonna do here? I think we should be fine. Yeah, there's plenty of room. Perspective sometimes plays with us, but not a problem. I wonder if I should check up there if there's anything of interest. But for now, we just keep on moving. Is that too much? Our destination, right? If I ping for, for quartz, I believe it should be up there. That is 
Ooh. Still quite a bit. At least we can go more on a straight line right now. Since it's basically up there. Don't forget the electricity. I forgot about the motors. Weak. Weak memory. I'm getting really close. Okay, so that's as far as we can come with the current amount of uh, concrete, which is okay since we had to go back anyway. And the question is, do we want to bring the quartz all the way back to our base, or do we want to exploit quartzy things here? Huh, that is a really good question. And you know what, I think for the sake of the growing factory, I, I will try to exploit them here. We will be putting um, transport tubes later on over these platforms, maybe making it a little bit nicer, a little bit rounder so far. We don't even have the materials to pay for this type of expenditure. I did see a cave down there at the left, and uh, I gotta say I'm kind of curious about it. But right now we are heading home, so let's focus on that. On that. I guess uh, it used to be very easy to just craft Caterium legs uh, out of starting Caterium, so it does make sense that they have made such a change to increase at least a little bit of the challenge, minimally if you want. I wonder if there are enough quartz, uh, quartz rocks around that we can use to finish the quartz legs themselves. Because uh, honestly, that would double our speed easily of moving around. And we're gonna be doing a lot of moving around. Okay, and sadly, this is just pure iron ore. Which we might as well clear so that we can use this later. I think I'll mark this. Right, the new map allows me to mark just. I think that makes way more sense. Um, iron ore times two. Remove this. What am I doing? Oh, there was no carrot. Hi, David. How are you doing? You can try again. I think it should work. There we go. No carrot. Asterisk leaves chat. <laughs> I told you that I fixed it. It only took me a second. I'm sorry. <laughs> thanks, for, th thanks for dropping by. How are you doing? Carrot. Yeah, see? Carrot is back. So, we need this. We need the motor. We need like two motors that was needed. Uh, do I need new cables? Not quite. Uh, the motors should be here. 
Don't tell my boss. I just like satisfactory, smiley face. <laughs> satisfactory is just pleasing. Uh, I, I think even the name is very apt. It was very well thought. Or how clean this game is. And the new update is so good. I'm very happy about it. Oh, the days of burning leaves for energy. <laughs> yeah. I feel I'm in tier 1 basically. Uh, and the problem is, even though I have four mines going on of uh, limestone, I still don't produce enough concrete. enough to get us to our destination. Let's grab some more plates, because why not? Um, we have these. We probably need more iron rods. Let's go get those. Wow, are we full of screws? That's actually great. Let me go. No, we're not full. Okay. But it's, it's on the way. You going for creating a giant sandbox of foundations then actually building the factories? That is indeed correct. Uh, all our factories will be interconnected uh, with the same foundation grid. That is the goal. I'm basically buying tiles with concrete to move around. Uh, I kind of playing the floor is lava. Uh, I like this for aesthetic reasons, but it's also kind of fun to uh, have to expand smartly first uh, so that you can start grabbing more foundations or producing better. It is kind of cute. It also makes uh, traveling a lot cleaner. Um, of course, if you have to deal with rough terrain all the time, you get slowed down. And uh, they actually move the powered legs upgrade to the quartz. Uh, upgrade tree, which means we need quartz and we need it very badly. You can see. I like gray tiles as far as the eye can see for aesthetic reasons. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, actually, what I prefer the most out of it is that you don't end up with uh, weird overlays between two different cornered or directional. I'm glad factories. the wife is the artist. Yes, of course. This is why I never try to replace her in terms of art. I just do grey things. Hey, I do. I used to do only boxes. I think I got better, mildly. <laughs> Paint everything with one color as well. Just easy. We're also gonna try to get that hard drive that eluded us last time. We have the power and we have the motors. I believe I should be... I should have been going up a long time ago, right? That's that's gonna be a slight punishment for it. So let's start going up. Okay, maybe it's not that bad. I'm gonna temporarily link myself to that hard drive. So that we solve that and then move on with our creation. You go up here, you go there. Let's just get this done. There we go. We have the motors in hand and. Walking on lava D. <laughs> well, exploring uh, without touching the ground will be ridiculously hard, so I don't think I will be doing that. Okay, uh, now, otherwise known as nobody saw that. A 
at least we're not building on lava, you know. <laughs> I'm going up. Exploring without a vehicle is super hard. Yeah. Well, it's the start of the game, right? I think it is supposed to feel bad so that when you get the upgrades, you feel way better about them. Did we go to the right place? Please tell me we did. Thing for quartz. Maybe that was a bit too much. Two, up. That was a bit too much. Eh, I think we can afford one more. When I say one, I say two. My god, is this scary. I'm gonna hurt myself. Well done. I never realized that this game may have uh, some issues for people with height uh, tier. I don't know if I like earning quality of life things in games, but I suppose it's part of the unlocking the tiers. I can understand what you're talking about. It does make sense to question it. Um, I think a better way to put it is it is okay if the base version of things didn't feel super bad. Right, so if, uh, let's say for example, you're playing a Dyson Sphere program and the robot always builds and what you can upgrade is more robots or faster speed, then it's not like you didn't have features before. But the factor is a little bit more punishing in that sense, that walking speed until you get a faster boot is oof, a little bit harsh. Uh, they did increase the body slots, which means now you can have uh, faster boots and jetpack at the same time. But until you get there... I think the most downloaded mod for Fact Oreo is skip first hour. <laughs> for a reason. Yeah, I would understand. But, you know what? We've already played two hours, which means we are beyond that already. <laughs> so, here is Quartz. How are we gonna get you? Did we get too close? Why, yes, yes we did. Goodbye. Okay, so... How about you start going downhill? That's an annoying problem. Okay. Step one here. Step two, you need to go. Step three, give runs. That's not good. You. Okay. Well, back to making web pages. Bye See you later. We'll watch VOD if I have time. Thank you. See you later. Good luck. Right now we can only turn into quartz crystal. That seems to be the goal right now. Good. Secondarily, we need the miners, which means we need to craft two of these. Correct. One. Two. Craft the miner. Send it here. Craft the miner. Send it 
here. Okay. Um, we need electricity, which we should have close by. You get power, you get power, 60 per minute, 60 per minute, okay. So that is quite a bunch. Let's bring the ramp a little bit up. So that we can continue with our production a little bit more elevated. We already see the grass starting to peek out of that location. Okay, and what we're gonna do is construct on it. I mean, we had 120, so let's put down one constructor. And that. What can you do with it? 30. 7.5, let's say 40, if we have 120, that's 3, 3 and a bit, okay, we can cover for that, so we make 3, we get some power, I didn't realize we could have matched that. Okay, so the merger now has to be That's looking good. Okay, ports. Ports. You are already on ports. So let's extend this. Ah, we've reached finally the limit. Make a storage container for all of this. Over here. And we need now merger. Now loading up parts. 
we are producing quite a bit. Let's see if we can check something in the MAM, which luckily we can still drop down. We ask Quartz. We need to be able to research Silica, we have enough, so let's do that. So, Silica now has a recipe unlocked, which we can check on a craft bench. Silica, Silica, Silica. Oh, oh, so just plain old crystals. Basically, you replace one of these for Silica and it just works. 22.5 per minute, 37. Uh, we may have a bit of bandwidth then. 22.5, 37.5. Oh, these are meant to go together. Wow. Sadly, I have no more room. And also, I'm currently throwing the silica in the same place. Maybe we shouldn't do that. Um, let's make another container here for now, and we'll throw this. Oh, yeah, that we go. Uh, we're gonna leave it like this only because I ran out of foundation. But yeah, we will accumulate silica over there while stealing it from here, and we're gonna ask the mum what do the legs require again. Two quartz legs, one more modular frame, which I think we can just craft. Okay. Quartz. How much silica? 50 silica. Here we're gonna end up with a lot of silica <laughs> very fast. So, do we have 50 already? No, 45, 50. Give me those legs and then tell me what they cost. Smart legs, so equipment workshop. Equipment workshop. Blade Runners, three rotors that we can make, 20 silica, okay. I think we can finish this right now. So we needed three frames, rotors, rotors down there. Very good. One, two, three. Thank you very much. Make legs. Ah, we need to see. Uh, in the meantime, let's begin a new hard drive examination and then silica Very good. This is what we need. This is what we need. Yes. Oh, it feels so <laughs> the timing. Oh the timing was amazing. Okay, we are ready to go back home. We now have this. I'm gonna put on the backpack, uh, the, the parachutes, because I can predict myself. Look at the speed. That already feels 20 times better. Um, I can predict that I'm just gonna jump all the way down. And I really want to use the parachutes for good. So here we go. Oh, we get to glide! Oh, I don't mind that at all. I gotta say that's pretty cool. Wow, we even get to see the whole parachute. Not expect that. I didn't know they were gliders. Wow, okay, that's pretty good. I'm gonna remove them because I will misuse the space bar. So that's pretty cool to know. Wouldn't gliding be faster? Hiya, <laughs> yo. 
<laughs> Mutter. <laughs> ah, so good. Yeah, come on. I'm probably gonna keep calling them Caterium legs forever. But these quartz legs are great. Look at how fast we made it back. It only took two jokes. Oh, can I jump on the way there? Whoa, that was a cool jump. Come on. That is a lot of new product. That makes me very happy. Okay, so let's start popping up these machines. I wonder why did we turn off them? Ah, oh, this one ran out of fuel. Okay. I mean, I did pop all the others off, uh, but that one will be missing some. Let's take care of that. As soon as new gets produced. Hmm. Okay. Well, we have to do some collection anyway. Let's go bring the. <laughs> I wonder. <laughs> That's kind of cool. I wonder if you can mod that the floor is lava. That would be very interesting. At the start, you would have to build conveyor belts to, be, to walk on, so that uh, at least you can rush into concrete production like I did. That's that actually sounds pretty interesting. Okay, um, what does what comes next? I think it is time for us to unlock the awesome sink. Um, we have all of the other things. We just need to go collect. I love this leg. The high jumps just feel so much better. All you need to do then is just dodge uh, these tall things, like how I felt just now to do. Air control is also great. No quake or half life, but it still feels pretty good. So, feed you, feed you, and technology! Very good. Milestone reached. You have been given early access to the anti-waste effort for stress testing of materials on Exoplanet's bonus program. <laughs> Funneling parts into the awesome resource sink, depending on their amount and complexity, will grant you coupons in the awesome store, which can be exchanged for bonus rewards. The fact Examples that... of bonus content are parts, walls, factory attachments, and cosmetics. Fixit is working hard to develop additional options, which will be added to the awesome store in the future. Go that extra kilometer. Go awesome. I love that they said kilometer. Uh, the fact that they worked super hard to find an acronym for uh, awesome is just ridiculously silly. So. Check out the mam. I still have a few minutes. <sighs> I think it is high time to think of two different things. The first one is the creation of reinforced steel plates and rotors. That will be important. They're both just purely made with uh, with iron. So I'm gonna head over there to the seven iron corner. I, I adore the new map. It is just so good. On the bad side, where are my seven iron? I know they're here. I would be very sad if they got removed. Okay, so, um, do I have... No, I did not collect... Ah, no, yes, I did collect. The problem is I also had to pay. Okay. So let's grab a few more. Wait, 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 wait. 
we have something to do. There is one machine that is currently non compliant. There we go. Nobody saw that. Then we deposit the tiny things we collected. Did not collect that much this time. And off we go. So, collect you. That's nice. That's a good number. Collect you. Very good. And the question is, shall we go from... What? Oh, okay. That's a mark marker we made. Shall we go from here? I don't see why not. I do not see why not. Okay. So let's grab foundations again and off we go. Wait, this is here. Ah, we don't have fuel. Hmm. I'll craft a bit. Again, I don't know. Did I misremember? I did not misremember. Very good job. I did fall down though. Let's get back up. There we go. Look at this place. It is full of life. Uh, I think I want to descend down to ground level. This too close, yes. Yeah. Let's go with a five ramp. It's now too far. Also, yes. Yeah. How is this possible? Because we need exactly this amount. Wow. Okay. Now we got it right. Maybe a little bit too tall. I think it will be. So I gotta make a transition somewhere. Is it just one meter? Is it two meter? Seems like one meter. Away. But what if one meter twice? Which is not exactly the same as two meters because of the X distance or horizontal. Come on there. Crazy how one meter could be too much or too little. Okay, so it's 
problem with this note is that they're all impure, which is not that bad, but it means that their effectiveness will be reduced, which means we kind of need more miners to supply what we are used to. And yeah, I'm gonna go with this height. It may be too tall maybe for the first one, but it will be great for the other. And I ran out of concrete. Okay. Time to go back. Uh, I think this looks a little bit silly. We can do this better. So we could do like this. And now it looks like it's on purpose. I guess I do need the energy. The general rule is uh, two. What what shall we call them? Syndromes, just like in Warframe. Two spin jumps is the exact distance that you can stretch most things for. Uh, this includes conveyor belts or tubes or pipes. So every two jumps, every two spin jumps to be precise, uh, just plop down whatever you are transporting and you will be fine. We fail the floor is lava challenge. Maybe I should keep a timer. Time since last lava step. Okay. Um, the mam has a result for us. Please, Miss Cruz. Yes. Oh, this is so good. Oh my God, it's so good. Uh, so just one constructor alone is then able, of, uh, capable of creating. 60 screws per minute. That is just such a good number. We may have to rethink this portion of the factory. Or actually, the most likely scenario is uh, I will remove the screw portion of this factory and just accumulate iron rods. And this place will be exclusively a plate and iron rod creation facility. And I think that's a great idea. But I'm not gonna do that yet. There is still a lot we have to do. First thing I want to do is check on our biofuel levels. Is there was still this one, yeah, that needs to pop off. And uh, it's actually a very real problem that I'm ignoring right now. I should not have done it. And that is that I'm gonna need more power. So let's expand this to another layer and copy paste some more bioburners. So there's something great about bioburners that uh, we should no knowledge knowingly exploit, or rather use correctly because it's not even exploit. Uh, they auto-regulate their consumption, which means why are you doing this? That's super easy. One, two, three, four. Okay. Uh, they regulate their own consumption, which means if you have way too many of them and then uh, all of them are loaded with fuel, they will lower the consumption of all of them automatically so that uh, the production corresponds exactly. No connection? 
literally gave you a connection right now. So the production meets exactly the demand. Uh, so right now I am, for example, consuming and producing the exact same number because uh, all of my energy sources are indeed um, of this type. Uh, there is no efficiency loss, so you don't even need to worry that you have created too many or too few. Uh, you just do the, your thing and the game will take care of it, which is kind of cute. Okay, so next up comes grabbing even more foundations. The screws recipe is such a happy moment for me. I believe I need more plates as well, so let's grab that. Uh, we should probably start sinking some resources. So, what is the cost? The cost is actually kind of cheap. Need to provide you with power though. Did we really need to make it cheap? The answer is no, we did not. So let's go again. That's not the man. Awesome thing. Put you here. Alright, so we're gonna be throwing all of these plates because our plate production has gone absolutely insane. We have uh, basically one entire container ready and waiting for us at any point. I think it's actually perfectly fair if I finish this portion and put the hub on top. The hub has earned it. Uh, I can even elevate the equipment construction facility. And the MAM. This will look a little bit more clean. Okay, so goodbye you. Careful, goodbye you. And grab all of you can't right now, okay. So let's use this temporarily. Put this away. You know what? We can put this away. Put this away. Put this, this. Now we have more room. I think we can now pick up all things in here. Pick up the hub, look at how pretty it looks now. And let's go again. Hub. I'm gonna put it here. That looks decent. We are gonna put the mum over there. Actually, you know what? Now we have the room. Let's make it pretty. We're gonna put the equipment workshop out here. And finally, the awesome shop. And I think we can even be a bit more organized and have some extra chests for our own use. And I don't like this one. Very good. So, um, let's put all strange stuff over here. Slugs. I believe. No, alien organs. And mycelia. Yeah, I like this. Let's put all the food in here. And let's put all the random materials that I don't want to hold in my hand right now. Oh, here. Uh, motors... That's the equipment. I guess the 14 so far I will just throw into this container. Together with this. And let me expand a little bit over here. To get another awesome thing going. And another one. Give me power. That hurt. Uh, that uh, sounded very badly, but 
No, it did sound very bad. Okay, so our maximum has uh, reached a new level, which means we'll have to really expand quite a bit. So, half for you, half for you, turn back on. I want to check from above. Any of you yellow? No. So yellow would indicate that uh, something is wrong, of course, with the with the machine. But luckily, none of them are yellow. Ah, this one actually did not have a connection. So we have now created a crisscross for no good reason. And now we fix it. Okay. Energy looks good. We are now once again above the maximum of our constructor, so even if everything was building at the same time, we would be providing enough power. And uh, the coupons are gone. Do we need anything urgently? I don't think we do need anything urgently, but many things we could appreciate. Uh, we certainly can pay this silica, we just have to take a very long trip over there. We are not automating this place yet. So I don't want to start using them, and all of these things are for later. Uh, the Explorer will be a very interesting idea, we don't have enough materials for it yet. We're not mining coal, so that is not doable. And this is also pretty... It's not really that far from us, we're about to get to that level, but we would need to finish the factory that we started for that. And I think that makes sense to do. Uh, we never got this going. Thousand cables. Right, we didn't finish this one, okay. So, I think we can afford to do it right now. So let's grab... Hop remains. The crafting bench. Hop protein. Actually, we needed way more, right? Okay. Very good. Now we need a little bit of biomass, which we can steal from this constructor. This way we can grab exactly 15 and not have uh, some leftover that we then have to get rid of. So here's more inventory slots, here is... what is it? More hand equipment slot, okay. This is for the rebar gun, okay. Do we care about the rebar gun? I don't think so. Medical inhaler, whatever. Maybe some other time. And hostile organism detection. Also done. Uh, what is here? This is Caterium. Okay, got it. So the most interesting thing right now would be to finish our factory, expand the quartz uh, to create the oscillator, and then see where we go from there. Biomass burner. I think for the time being I just have to accept that uh, we'll be using Biomass Furnace for a while. And since we spoke about this, that they kind of self-regulate, we don't really need to worry about anything else other than to find them. And uh, I would like to check if we still have these production. No. Okay. So our biofuel production has paused or stopped. It seems like ah. Oh. Ah, 
That is always a little bit annoying that the chainsaw requires its own fuel. You need to remember not to give everything away. But we are very close, so this can be fixed very soon. I just saw that the chainsaw doesn't grab flowers, that's a little bit sad. Uh, flowers are particularly good for petals, which are the uh, necessary production cost for paint. So eventually when we want to start painting our factory, we won't be able to. What? I thought so. I love that the chainsaw can actually destroy stone if there is a plant nearby, which makes absolutely no sense. But who am I to question? The power of fixing. I love the new volume of this. It is so bearable. Okay. That looks like a good amount. Ooh. This smells like a secret to be discovered. Uh, if we had some novelists, we could blast this open. Basically dynamite. So let's get back to our civilization portion. Let's throw in some more fire. So this one is for wood. That was a lot of wood. That's gonna last quite a while. The good thing is we have so much uh, in storage that we have not stopped producing at any moment. We are starting to run out, but we haven't run out yet, which is great news. Okay, so, do I have plates? Yes. Do I have iron rods? Not enough. Give more. Do I have the screws? I guess I won't need yet. I kind of feel like I may need more iron rods. Plates are enough, and I certainly need more of my limestone produced concrete. Grab this, go to this constructor, throw in stone. Again. Same thing, same thing, same thing. Perfect. Last place. How's the energy looking? Very good. And limestone production. One of the most needed and yet slowest recipes. At least for now, because we don't have any alternate. But we have the screw recipe, that's so good. Okay, so. Uh, let's do some math, shall we? I'm gonna put a craft bench here, because I think I'm gonna need some new materials here and there. Uh, I think specifically rotors, we're currently not making any. So let's check that out. 
The rotor requires rod and cars. Screws. I knew I should have brought screws. Slight, slight mistake. It requires a lot of screws. Alright, now we made four. Um, we can finally put down an assembler. Let's imagine that it goes here, and then we ask the assembler. We have the bolted iron plate that requires 250 screws per minute. We cannot even feed that much. Um, but 60 per minute we can feed. So we probably will start with this. It produces 5 per minute. Got it. We wanted to make rotors. We need 100 screws per minute, which we cannot feed. And 5 iron rods, which is 20 per minute. Okay. And if I ask... Constructor... Iron rod, it's 15 per minute, make 15. So if we wanted 20, we can just craft a little bit extra and that should be it. So it's two constructors with um, with iron rods and two constructors with screws. This would give us one assembler with uh, four rotors. And that also means we need 90 iron ore per second. So I feel like that fits more here. Um, I think this place has seven nodes, which sounds a little bit insane, and it's a little bit annoying to connect it all, because you need a ton of miners. And they're also impure, so you don't get a lot out of it. But this is how we begin. Give me equipment. Let's make some. I guess let's make three to start. Three. And then we go miner number one, there, miner number two, miner number three. We will connect these two things on this direction, this direction. align this for any reason. Oh, it's aligning itself incorrectly. Okay, got it. So give me a merger that is more around. Here. I see this this itself is not aligned. Miner is also not aligned. Which would explain all our initial problems. Now that it is aligned, it doesn't fit anyway. Great. How does it look? It looks terrible. Okay, let's try it this way. Wow, this one is really we could sort. Let's cut this 
to I mean, that looks a little bit better. Okay. So we got 60 going on here. Oh my god, I just realized why even merge thing. I could have done this way easier. All that effort for nothing. If they produce exactly 30, then why even hesitate? Just let them produce 30. Um, they will need electricity for this, and that's fine. We'll just bring them. and that's not in line. Now it is in the now you are out of line. So now we extend it here. And now we have uh, 90 ingots as we described before. So, more room. Ah, we got to break one of them. Okay, and now we need this one split in two. Split there. And four constructors put in a row. So I need you. I'm out of here. Ah, uh, am I capable of crafting my own because I have wires? And I yes. Maybe we do a little bit of a shortcut right now. We can go back for cables for real a little bit later, that's gonna be fine. I would rather put this in an entirely different place. barely uses any iron, I forgot to check for that. So I'm producing way more than what's needed right now. That's a little bit of a shame. A little bit of a waste. Okay. 
Oh, that annoys me a lot, actually. It means this whole, this whole setup is incorrect. Okay, I want to check something else as well. I mean, we will make use of this area anyway, but the, the numbers are now completely imbalanced. For no reason. Or, I mean, so let's see. I feel like I will have to go home for energy soon. But maybe we have enough time. Come on. Deconstruct. Uh, the smelters are not the problem, right? So they together are creating 90 right now, so I will not question this mo this part of the construct. That is just fine. What I need to know now is uh, constructor number one. I want to produce a hundred screws, which means 25 iron ingots on that. And I want to produce 20 iron rods, which means 20. So 25 and 20, that's 45. Okay, 45 is a good number. I could have two lines producing the same thing. That I like. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Uh, let's try some stuff. So, it requires 25 to make the screws. It requires 20 to make the rocks. This go together for one rock. Uh, if I want to keep two of these to get to 90, it is 50 worth of screws, which is four constructors on screws, and it is 40 rods, which is three, almost three constructors on rods. Got it. Uh, the problem, is the there is actually a problem with this, is that I will be producing. Uh, way too many screws for our current um, capacity of transportation. So that means I'll have to be careful on how I distribute it. And that's fine. Now. I'm gonna need a lot more constructors. So. So maybe we just start with one pile. Let's do that. Okay, so we make you here. And you here, because we know that's how it fits. Put you here. These two right now will be making proof. Maybe it's better. Okay, give them power. Actually, you know what? Everyone decides their own power. Oh. There we go. So, you make screws, you make screws. And then I want at least two of the iron rod creation. One. I guess we can put the third down. And the way this will work, it's gonna be odd. If I have to split, split. But they'll, they'll require input from somewhere else. right now though. I think right now we can afford to do it like this. So that's rods, and that is rods. And now let's get some more room. We are reaching for the sky very soon. Put the product together, merger. Now 
marker. Um, you think you can trust the machine? And uh, yeah, time for assembler number one, which we cannot afford. I think I could have created a new one of these. You know what? Doesn't matter. Okay, so we're gonna make like 30 cable, and once this one is going, we're gonna go back, take care of energy. Uh, grab more material, of course. And at least make sure that this one is left running. So, assembler, assembly. We are gonna make, you know what? We're gonna make them go look in opposite directions. No. This one, the, the one that looks in this direction. So, if that's where you want to be, you do that. Somehow I did last one. This is where you want to be. Two left, and there you go. Now you will be making rotors, and you will be getting power for you. This power for you. And uh, here we go. The first rotor machine is Rotoring. Let's make this and put a storage container. That was complete going to. Is it raining? It's raining. That's very pretty. So, rotors are ongoing, and as predicted, my power ran out. That is okay. It is indeed a rainy day. It's a good day to work in the factory. Oh, that's a nice, nice thought. Uh, because we'll be having two machines running in parallel creating rotors, we will only need one of them uh, to create the... Thing, of course, the smart place. There we go. So we will now have uh, an entire factory dedicated to smart place and all of the other things. So who of you have refused? Have, uh, let's be more precise. Have run out of fuel. You get fuel. You get fuel. You get fuel. You get fuel. Turn back on. I'm in the yellows, the red, you get fuel. And no more. Okay, we'll keep the rest then for us. Why do I still have limestone? Ah, of course, because I keep breaking rocks. Ah. There's both good news and a nice explanation. How's the awesome things going? Great. Let's grab those coupons. We'll be able to buy new things, good things. For our prospects. There. Do I need new iron plates? Uh, I could say so. But I certainly need more rods and more screws. Just in case. Iron plates, two stacks should be enough. Go to the awesome shop and let's see. Oh, oh, they changed the order of things. Okay, okay. So, customizer, no. Foundations, double run pack. Thank you very much. I have eight. What else could I go for? Right at the start. 
and that do like the idea of the ladder. Is ladder better than stairs though? And you know what's really good? The wall power outlet. I think I want them. Wait, they cost three. This one's cost four. I think I'm just gonna go for that. So don't get me. This is a little bit overpriced if you ask me. And pipeline wall attachments. No, it's not what we want, but hyper tube wall attachments is something we want. So buy that. And regarding walls, conveyor walls would be ideal, so we can ignore this for now and buy this. Very good. Thank you very much. Awesome. And to run back to our factory. Hopefully we already have some rotors that we can grab to make, of course, more uh, assembler. And that's how the game goes. You automate the thing that allows you to automate more things. One more, maybe? Perhaps? Yes? Perhaps? Thank you. Okay, so rotors are automated for now. Uh, we're gonna improve on that later. But it is time for the other side. The other side has two mines. One. Two. And... Melters down. Did we grab cables? Okay, everything I said. Everything I ever said. Or me being smart. We also did not really drop uh, all of the things we found. Okay. Let's take the extra minute of a detour. Poison gas. I wonder if I should make a glass dome around the poison gas just for fun. Um, throw in this, throw in that, and grab you. That's a lot of cable now. Good. Grab that. I feel like I ended up with way too many things in my hand. I don't want you, I don't want you. The rest I do want. I'm wondering right now if I should go pick up some silica. Mm. How about silica? Yeah, I think, you know what, that is indeed the best idea. Having a good amount of lunch. So! It's a great time to take a break. Uh, I will be beginning the automation of uh, reinforced iron plates next and put them together for the automation of smart plates next so that we can create the space elevator, throw stuff into it and finally reach the higher tiers. Um, what are we missing here? Oh, of course, reinforced iron plates. So let's throw all the other materials and I will be taking a break now. Thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you next time.